The probe was working very well. The release sequence itself, when we released the probe, worked perfectly. The probe was released on the right trajectory to enter at the right point. The flight path angle, so that at the angle it enters to the atmosphere was right. It's just at the right angle so that it won't skip out of the atmosphere or enter too quickly and burn up. And the attitude or the orientation of the probe was set, so the heat shield is headed in the right direction to be protecting the probe during that uh, exciting entry that's coming up. So we have every expectation that we're going to get a very successful relay in just a couple of hours. The temperature from that friction as it slows down will cause the temperature of the atmosphere right in front of the probe to be more than twice the surface temperature of the sun. And the probe will be um, decelerating very fast. Once the G-switches activate, they'll turn the probe on and open the parachute. The probe will descend on the parachute and begin transmitting to the orbiter. It will be sending real data as it, that it collects as it descends, as well as the data that it's stored and that it's storing right now um, on the radiation environment. It will also be storing data during the entry of what the G levels will be and how the heat shield is ablating, as well as the temperature of the heat shield during, will be stored during the entry itself. The aft cover comes off and it's now taking measurements. The instruments are all exposed to the atmosphere, looking at the clouds and the winds, what the composition of the atmosphere is. It'll be measuring the energy flux, where the energy is coming on Jupiter and where it's, um, what's driving the clouds and the winds. Um, we will be looking for lightning during the descent. And uh, you'll be hearing a lot more about the science once we see what we get. We don't really know what we're going to get. We have a lot of models on what Jupiter looks like. But what we're really looking forward to is learning new things about Jupiter and getting uh, unexpected surprises as we get there. So we're very excited about getting today confirmation that the probe survives the entry and establishes the link with the orbiter. Um, and hopefully in a week or two, we can tell you what we see at Jupiter.